Good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday the 2nd of September. September already, I can't believe it. And today we are commemorating the Martyrs of Papua New Guinea from 1901 and 1942. Well thank you for joining me this morning. As we come into our time of worship, let's just still our hearts and minds for a moment as we come into the presence of our Lord. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger for ever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as high as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him, for he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from old and endures for ever on those who fear him and righteousness on children's children. On those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Well, there are three psalms this morning that have been appointed. That's Psalm number one, number two, and number three. And I'm going to read Psalms one and Psalm three, beginning with Psalm one. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. Blessed are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners nor sat in the assembly of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on this law day and night. Like a tree planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither, whatever they do, it shall prosper. As for the wicked, it is not so with them. They are like chaff, which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not be able to stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. Christ our wisdom, give us delight in your law, that we may bear fruits of patience and peace in the kingdom of the righteous, for your mercy's sake. Now going to read Psalm 3. You, Lord, are a shield about me. Lord, how many are my adversaries? 
Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say to my soul, There is no help for you in your God. But you, Lord, are a shield about me. You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. When I cry aloud to the Lord, he will answer me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep and rise again, because the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of hordes of the peoples that have set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, and deliver me. O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek and break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be upon your people. You, Lord, are a shield about me. Shield us, Lord, from all evil and lift us from apathy and despair that even when we are terrified, we may trust your power to save. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We have two scripture readings for today. The first one is 1 Kings chapter 1, verses 5 to 31. And the second one is Acts 13, verses 13 to 43. So the first one, 1 Kings chapter 1, verses 5 to 31, and I'm going to read Acts 13, verses 13 to 43. <clears throat> Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Perga in Pamphylia. John, however, left them and returned to Jerusalem. But they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message, saying, Brothers, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul stood up and with gesture began to speak. You Israelites and others who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt, and with uplifted arm he led them out of it. For about forty years he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Cana, he gave them their land as an inheritance for about four hundred and fifty years. After that he gave them judges until the time of the prophet Samuel. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for forty years. When he had removed him, he made David their king. In his testimony about him, he said, I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart, who will carry out all my wishes. Of this man's posterity, God has brought to Israel a saviour, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had already proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his work, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but one is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of the sandals on his feet. My brothers, you descendants of Abraham's family and others who fear God, to us, the message of this salvation has been sent. Because the residents of Jerusalem and their leaders did not recognise him or understand the words of the prophets that are read every Sabbath, they fulfilled those words by condemning him. Even though they found no cause for a sentence of death, they asked Pilate to have him killed. When they had carried out everything that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, and they are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring you the good news that what God promised to our ancestors he has fulfilled for us, their children, by raising Jesus. As also it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, 
Today I have begotten you. As to his raising him from the dead, no more to return to corruption, he has spoken in this way. I will give you the holy promises made to David. Therefore he has also said in another psalm, You will not let your Holy One experience corruption. For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, died, was laid beside his ancestors and experienced corruption. But he whom God raised up experienced no corruption. Let it be known to you, therefore, my brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. By this Jesus, everyone who believes is set free from all those sins from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, that what the prophets said does not happen to you. Look, you scoffers, be amazed and perish, for in your days I am doing a work, a work that you will never believe, even if someone tells you. As Paul and Barnabas were going out, the people urged them to speak about these things again the next Sabbath. When the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And I will continue with the Benedictus. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in the darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, at the start of each day, help us to recognise you above all else. Enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we might see you and notice how you are at work through our lives. Give us wisdom to make the best choices and fill us with a desire to seek you. We ask that your peace lead us that it would guard our hearts and minds in you. Father, we pray for our world today. We pray for peace and for hope. Many are struggling with conflict, poverty and the global food crisis, and many are affected by natural disasters, floods, droughts, forest fires. Lord, we pray for your provision, your protection and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for your worldwide church. We lift to you our church partners who faithfully serve their communities by coming alongside children, young people and their families. 
Thank you for their skills and their commitment to sharing your love. We pray that the church families around the world would joyfully live out their faith with love and graciousness that brings glory to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you are our Prince of Peace, and you prayed for unity in the body of Christ, that we may be united in love. Just as you are united with the Father in love, give your children the desire to love one another as you have loved us, and let the world know we are your disciples by our love for one another. Give us a hunger to live in union with each other, and may we be united as one in the bond of peace and fellowship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all who are finding life painful, especially those who are ill or vulnerable. Help them to sense your presence in times of need and bring them hope for an end to their suffering and a resolution of their difficulties. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who have died and we pray for all those whose life is saddened by the death of a loved one. Lord, be with them in their grief and loneliness and surround them with your presence and your love in the difficult times to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And our collect for today. Almighty God, whose only Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence, give us pure hearts and steadfast wills to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. It appears that we are now in autumn. <laughs> the summer seems to have gone very, very quickly. It certainly has for me anyway. Well, I hope you're all well and I hope you all stay well. So stay in touch with one another and until next time, God bless. Bye bye.